European seasons go by the months where our traditional seasons are a bit more flexible, they're not always on time. They can change and we can tell that it's changed um, seasons through the whole land, the animals, the plants, and yeah, we can just go off our environment instead of a calendar. Yiliang is a goddess of spring, so when she arrives, that's when you know the flowers are blossoming, the birds have their offspring. When you see a yellow butterfly, that usually tells you when the mullet runs down the river. Um, when the silky oak starts flowering a yellow flower, everywhere. Um, that's when you know that turtles are around and they're travelling to different water holes. The recordings are um, of there's a drum. variety of them. Lawrence Wilson and like he well yeah and like Nanny and all that and Mary and is it Nanny Ethel? Well yeah and like just talking about stories from like back when they were around talking about when like when they were being taught their culture or well, our culture and um, stories they've been taught and stories they grew up with just about around this area around the Vangelang area so it's a good thing that the tapes are there so because they're not here they can teach us all the stories that they, they learnt so. and then we can teach the next generation. generation. Yeah. It's helped a lot with um, groups of schools when they come out. Um, we know more about our plants and animals and um, plant ID. We can, you know, teach them and tell them about what certain plants are for um, and the names. And the calendar helps with. Um, the students, like um, local students and Vangeline kids on our seasons. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was a really valuable project for me and I because um, it really drew together uh, the younger women to work and gained a lot of skills um, in a range of things really. Um, it was environmental as well as cultural. And so it had a large influence on inc increasing the capacity of Minimi IPA workers to do a whole lot of environmental monitoring, particularly using um, fulcrum um, and uh, recording environmental changes on Minimi and elsewhere. So. It was a great learning experience, but it, it really strengthened the skills uh, at Minimai. And the fact that it involved young women and elder women meant that there was a, uh, cross, uh, there was a cross generational exchange, and that's been very pivotal in moving forward to the next stage of Minimai, so that the IPA um, has been able to gain funding for similar work to be continued. Um, with the young women and the older women involved in consolidating culture and then passing it on to younger generations. So there have been terrific flow and effects t to not only the female ranges but also the, the male ranges and it's inspired further work at Minimai so I think everybody's happy with it. Mm -hmm.